All right, good afternoon, everyone. Guess what? After reading the comments, well, my beautiful soaping family, uh, Tree, God's Harley Girl Studio. I kind of scared me half to death, and I thought, oh my goodness, I don't want it to get rock hard. But it did. Not that bad. This is the second day, you guys, the next day. So I started working with it now. And Tree, I thank you for drawing that to my attention. She used the same recipe. And so she didn't know what, you know, happened. It was rock hard. But, yes, I love this. I love it. So what you do is you just knead it. This is the next day. It's not Wednesday. But I'm going to walk you through it. Of course, you can always do a prototype. So I'm just mixing it. But you know what's really nice? Just look at that. It's not cracking. It's just right. Now, if I waited until Wednesday, oh my goodness, I don't know. So, this is the, um, the big one, the big pink one. So I've just been taking it out of there. I didn't give it a chance. I'm just gonna do it and I did it so got that done and then this is the darker one which you can't tell very much but when you get it you do one leaf and then you do another in the same color it has a contrast so are you guys dying to see it <laughs> Why not before I get this done? Yes, I'm just going kind of backwards, but look at these. I will give you a better picture of it. That was just a little sneak peek. And no, I didn't follow directions. Some of us love to follow directions, and I tried, and I said, I'm just going to have to do it my way. So here we go. So just going to demonstrate this part, and then, of course, I will show you making it the green oh, that's one thing i better show you the green was a little weirder and i have a feeling you guys because i'm not a soap dough you know person doesn't mean i don't like to play around but it was i took it out of its thing and it was just really soft and i don't know i didn't like it so I took it out, mushed it together, put it back in here to keep it safe from drying out because it will dry out fast. Thank you, tree, again. Are you guys getting too much blur? So I let it dry out just a little bit, and then I put it back in here. Now, it's got to be the different micas and things because this one is very pliable. It's nice, it's not cracky, and one of these days, maybe in one of my favorite places, let me see if I can get you in here a little bit better, I'll get one of those small pastry um, ones, but this is the one I use for everything, and what I like, I can use the soap thing. If I had this fragranced, I wouldn't be using this, because it is... I'm going to put you guys up just a little bit more because every time when I tap it, it seems like i get my roses over there. You guys are going in and out of focus. So maybe that might help. I'm still learning this part too. But we'll just learn together. Where the... I don't know. Oh, I have to get Danny to monitor, I think. See how it does that. Okay, so I will try so I use this. If I had put fragrance in here, well, I would not be using this because it's so porous. But soap is soap, and yep, you can wash it. So it's no problem using it for in my kitchen. And I left this out just a little bit, but you don't need a lot of force. And I did not, as you can see, put any cornstarch or anything down on that. I don't know if I'm breaking the rules on that, but I start out while it's thick. I roll it kind of hard 
then afterwards, because it starts getting pliable, just a little bit. You see it's not sticking. The green was, but when I get it thinner and thinner, I just go lighter and lighter on the pressure. So, just keep turning it over. Look like I got a little green on that one, but see? Look at that. I'm probably breaking all the rules, but as you guys know, I want to a different beat of the drum. Not on purpose, but that's just how the Lord made us. All unique, all different, for a reason. He does not make a mistake. No. So, as I told you before, when I was in school, I went to the counselors where you get up there and the mages and they are trying to see what you're made out of and your career moves and whatnot. And I wanted so much to be a nurse or in the medical field somehow. But I knew I didn't have the brains to be a doctor or whatever. But anyways, <sighs> and I had that problem with being dyslexia. And it's not as bad as some people, but I told you before, transposing two words, two letters, two numbers, and that is a no-no. So I thought different. So I beat, I walked to a different beat. And I thought there was something wrong with me. And as I got older, well, they told me, ah, Patty, you need to marry young and have a bunch of kids and run a, a household. And that's sad, but they didn't say it's snottiness, but it was like, there's no hope for you, girl. And yeah, so that was an adventure the Lord walked me through for sure. And I learned most artists and people that think differently, creative or whatever, maybe speakers, whatever, we're all different. We're uniquely made, and you had to learn to accept that, not be so harsh and judgmental on yourself. And yes, I got married young, and I had a bunch of kids, and I love that job. And then, at 29, yep. Married 13 years, I became a widow and was thrown out to the wolves. But guess what? I survived. I learned lots and lots of stuff. And it is not a, uh, a sad ending. It's a happy ending because I'm still <laughs> learning my uniqueness, <laughs> if you will. Oh, the adventures of life, honey, huh, guys. Anyways, see, I'm getting this, and I want it to be, see it where you see my hand through there. That's what I'm trying to get at. But as I'm yakety yakking, I got this rolled out. You see how that worked? If this was sticking a little bit, I wouldn't put cornstarch on it. I put a little bit of oil. Yep, no water. That's the glue. Okay. So here we go, guys. Quit me yakking and get busy. This is the part. I just make up a whole bunch of these at one time after my first prototype, and I put them in a bag. Yippers. That makes it easier, so if you are going to sell them or whatever, if that's what you like to do is sit down and be able to do it. Some of us can't get up and be active, you know, running around all the time. Whatever the reason, guess what? You can still make beautiful soap. You can make these. Or let your, you know, your mind just go to picking up whatever. Like I said, this was like three to four years I bought this. And I said, why not make soap with it? Couldn't figure it out. And then the trend came with making soap dough. And I went, hmm. So, 
Yes. After you make your first prototype, just get in here and do a whole bunch of things at first. And trust me, um, when you go to sell things, you want to be able to put your time in it. You need to do that part. So if you weren't yakking like this old hillbilly, doing a video on it, you could be crushing these babies out and making a lot. And then that would bring down your time. But I'm trying to be gentle and get these things on the road. Okay. I can, like you do if you make, um, oh, pastry crust. You just want to knead it back in there. We need these. So I just go and I punch a whole bunch of these out. I'm not going to keep doing this while you guys are watching and spending your time. This is just for demonstration purposes of what a hillbilly soaper does. Oops, I should have. I'll just take that part off. See? That's it. Those are the inner loops. And I'm just going to use up this part because I can't. It saves me a little bit when I'm not talking to you. I'm just whacking them out. And as I said, do you think I'm going to be doing this? No. This is for you guys too. I always wanted to do this. I'm doing it. And who knows? Someone sees it in the shop or at the market and puts in an order for, oh, I just, you know, oh well, yeah, then I would make it. But... Just take this and put it back in the bag because you want to keep it pliable. Okay. Enough said of that. I got my little first flowers on there. I got some leaves that I poked out or punched out and made that. So we're ready to go. And here's the little leaves. I think they come in two different sizes. And I think by looking at it, let me show you one. Isn't it pretty? You see how the leaves are? How I represented them a little bit better. Um, I think having a bigger one. But these are going to go on some soap, which I will make the next day. But I think I would have used them. Alrighty. Let's get out two leaves. Yep. Because I already put the little design on. You can see. I don't know. Well, anyways. I will walk you through it. And. One, two. Put this one back. You want one, two. No, nope, you want one. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm trying to hurry to keep you guys from um, having to watch all of it. I guess I could use that. <laughs> but just make them all ahead of time. Just sit out and cut them out. And listen to some good music. Do some jamming or listen to an audio book. I know uh, Meredith and I like audio books from our trucking days. So you just take a little pinch off in here. That's what I did here. And then you just shape it. You really don't need that much, but I like to get the stem good. Shape it. That's all you have to do. So, let's stick that in there. And let's get on with the show, Patty. You and your yakking. Okay. So, I am going to take a skewer, and I was cleaning up in my soap room, and yeah, you know what, this dumb dodo bird, I swear, Patty, you're just something else sometimes. Um, I have a whole bunch of these. They're not very expensive, but I don't know where I put them. I put them somewhere because I knew I was going to use them. Do you think I know where? No. 
So that's why these are on these. See, I can't use them because of this. I think I already said that in the, uh, the video after this. But this is the second one I'm going to make for you. I think I already made some for you in the next part to go around. But, mm -mm -mm. okay, we'll do this again. You see this little piece right here? Yeah, it's the first beginning. What I do, it just looks, you know, cut out cookie-ish. So I'm just going to take my fingers and I am going to just flatten it out. Kind of make it, you know, just beautiful. Okay, there you go. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right like that and I think what I did was I'm gonna put some water on there yeah to build dabble a little bit of water for the glue I don't really need that much patty what is the matter with you all right then I'm gonna just walk it around close it up and you know I think I think I got this at Walmart, though. Okay. And I think, if you look, go online and see. Um, Walden, Walton. I bet you. They probably have a little bit more of these things that you use for, um... Uh, I don't know. What do they got? Now it's got me going here. I gotta look at this. Oh, thing. oh. Paste, I think. Yeah, gum paste. Yeah. Bet you they have a lot of different other ones too besides the rose. Hi, Danny. Say hi. And I'm gonna take that part off because I don't need it. Okay. There. There's the beginning. Do whatever you want with that part. Okay, there it is. It's on there good. Now, same thing. Just walk it around. I think it makes it easier if you just start about right here, you guys. Right in here. The last one I did. If it falls off, you just use a little bit of water for the glue. But I'm going to start right here. And I'm just going to pinch just like I did with the first one. I'll walk it around. Just flare it out. Just gives it that beautiness. Okay? And do all the rest of them. I can sit here and listen to a book. Listen to music. Listen to my talk radio show. Which I drive everybody else crazy except for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. As you guys already know, I'm not a liberal. I am definitely a conservative woman and very opinionated. So we won't go there and people just don't want to share. They get tired of it, I'd say. And I'm talking to my family. Do you know? And they're like, oh my goodness, that's as bad as saying the S word. So it's like, I'll just leave that as yes. I am not ashamed. Okay, I'm in a goofy mood today. Can you guys tell? Because I'm so excited about making these. And then tomorrow, Danny and I, he is so excited. He came back and said, Granny, are we going to make soap anytime soon? I said, yeah, today? I said, maybe, but I'm going to get these flowers done first. And then I'll make some pretty soap. He just just blesses my heart. <sighs> so, just do it for both of them. Now, if you wanted to make a great big old rose, let's say, and you made it, and then you just put it in a soap dish or something like that, you guys, this is nothing new. 
Go do it. Don't worry about, oh, someone else did this and I can't copy. Guess what? Go do it. We are all in this together. I get so excited if I can share something or help someone in a different way of doing a, something that seemed hard for them or whatever. It's a education kind of a thing. And it just makes me so happy. Go do it. There is nothing new under the sun. And Jen, soap, nut soap, and necessities. Don't be afraid to do this. If this hillbilly can do this in the way that I think, go sit down and do it. Just do it. I know that you would go crazy over this. And you know what? Here's something for you. Since you were like me and Patrick and Renee and I can go on and on and on about, you know, the herbs and natural nature, whatever. Could you imagine making these purdies, putting your stuff in it and selling them, making, you know, just keep adding and adding, you know, and make a nice little, you know, selling it like that. Voila. There you go, girl. Okay. So, let's put the first one on. Uh, bring it on up. Makes it easier if you turn it. And then just fold it. Don't want it to come off. Just fold it in there. You're not going to hurt it. And then pinch it at the bottom. Yep. See, Jen? Look at this. Go get you some, as, as Nicole would say. Go get you some. Go get you one of those things. I think you would have fun. And I know that she's probably like me. Need those moments of just regrouping life's adventures. So this would be fun. It would be good therapeutic stuff. So. Right, Nicole? Right, Marina? Yep. I think we all think like that. I used to have a famous saying, if life gives you lemons, go make lemonade. <laughs> or go make lemon candy. That's good. Oh, Patty, Patty, shut your mouth. <laughs> I am just so tickled about this, you guys. Okay, I'm not going to do nothing of feathering it out yet. Because you can do that after you get it all together. Because I'm going to be switching it over. Because this is the only one, as I told you, I have. So, turn upside down. Kind of smush it on there. Yeah, because you're going to be straightening them up. That's the nice thing about soap dough that I like. And you go in there. Let me get a little bit more glue because I want all this not to be fragile. Even though this is going to be in a soap set down here. But if you were going to make elegant um, bigger ones and that's just it. That's just your, your soap. Well, just keep, you want to keep it all together. So then what I'm doing is fluffing it out doing whatever, making sure, pinching. Now, if a daggum hillbilly can do that, what is the big deal, huh? I love you guys. You guys keep me busy. Alrighty. I get my drift on that. Now, can straighten it out later, but right now I'm not going to sit here and nitpick it, because then we'll put it on this. So, take it off, because it's the only one I've got right now, and stick it on here, because that's why I said you're going to have to fluff it out and 
do all different kinds of stuff, but I want them to dry like this. Then I'll fix it. The inside, the outside. But we're going to get to the leaves. So I'm going to stick that in my jar. And I like that. Oops. That skewer doing this. But what I'm going to do is take and be very gentle. It's got little ridges on, ridges, 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 see, on here, on the end part. So I don't want to distort that, so I go in a little bit further, and I just pinch it just a little, kind of give it a, a little bit thinner surface. Then, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to score it. And the reason, make it 3D and it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, artisans will be able to do a better job because I'm just not really paying attention. That was a little thick. Maybe I'll try this again. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do is just thin it out. Give it a little bit of character, turn it over, do a little bit more so that it's just pliable. And then I kind of pinch down here because you want that pretty thin to apply to your rose. Okay, so I'll take this, I'm going to stick it in some water and some glue, and then I'm going to find that just the sweet, sweet place. Stick it on there. Then I'm just going to do this. I can put a little bit right there so it will stick on the leaf and just smooth it down. Apply it out. Then I can make my marks a little bit better for the artisans out there. Okay, and then just straighten it up, give it some character, and voila, bend it whatever way that you want. There you go. Now let's stick that one back up there and do the next one because somehow I just like two leaves. Three would be better, but I'm not going to mess with it. Okay, you guys, I don't know how long this video is, but I'm going to bid you adieu. Thanks for <laughs> sticking with me in my crazy moment. Usually when I get this talkative and whatnot is I'm trying to run away from a headache. I'm trying to build up on me. Nope, nada. Not going to do it. I am so interested in hearing you guys taking off and doing this stuff. As for me, I think I've stick to piping. But like I said, oops, that needs a little bit of glue down here. There. Okay, now let's get this pretty leaf on here. That could go a little bit closer. Does not have to be perfect. No, I can do whatever because I'm the boss. All right. Okay, enough of that. Yep. Just make it any old way you want because this is going to be on my. I'm going to stick this down here. The one I just did, and I will be working on it, pulling this out like these. But look at that. You can even, I don't know why, I always go back to that, but I think that's pretty. The Victorian style with a little bit of gold, and it's still drying. And I think this is the one that I just got done, so I'm going to fix that, bid you guys adieu. And tell me, what do you think?
page. Okay. Go do it. Love y'all. See you tomorrow when I make this soap and put this on.